in this video, let's see what it would take to average out um, normals. So in this example, I have a character that has a head mesh, right? Separate from the body. And just for the sake of this example, I don't have the body connected to the head. And the reason I don't is because I want to create a situation where if I go to my object mode, you can see that the normals are actually in the same position, but they are creating this really harsh line. And maybe sometimes you have a head that has blend shapes. Maybe it came from a different program and you don't actually want to physically weld the points and smooth out the uh, your geometry, you actually need to keep this separate. Maybe this has different UVs, different materials, whatever the reason is. Let's see what it would take to actually average out the normal so it looks like, even though these are two separate shapes, that the um, normals match, giving us an illusion of smooth surface, right? All right, so how do we fix this? So to fix it, what you need to do is you need to select all the points along this uh, border that has the issue. So let's go ahead and go to our verts mode. And if we grab our selection tool, let's turn on our X-ray so we can see all the points along this uh, border here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my selection lasso tool and just make a selection all the way around, just like this. So essentially just selecting all the points, right? that, let me turn off my x-ray, that have the uh, issue. And once I have them selected, if you have the, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to install the bonus tools. Once you have it installed, then you can go to Google and just search for my bonus tools to install them. It's a free uh, plugin. And what you wanna do is go to modeling, adjust vertex normals. And if you say, normal display, and we can change the length of these. If we look really closely, we can see that both of these, even though it's in the same position, both of these normals are facing different way, different direction, right? So for us to not see this visible line, we need to make sure that these normals match. And since we have them selected, all we need to press is this other button here called average vertex normals. Once you press it, look what happens to this double line here, like a V. Once I press it, it turns into one, right? So now if we turn off the normal display and turn this off, go to object mode, you could see that it is completely 100% smooth and it looks really nice. So the mesh is still separate. So it's still, it's still two different pieces. So if I double click on it, you can see that it's separate. But yet when you just look at it, it looks perfectly uh, welded. So keep that in mind, it's a really cool trick and sometimes it will uh, come uh, handy as you become, uh, as you work on more complex characters and uh, animations and blend shapes. So I, I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.